Hi and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, what we're going to do is we're going to, in essence, uh, turn this design into a template and we're going to style it for multiple clients. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's going to be very quick and easy. So be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for new and upcoming videos. And let's jump right in. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our frame. We're going to name this global. Oops. I want to make sure we close the bracket. Let's call this Bakery logo. Um, now, the only reason why I'm copying all of these is because we're going to take control of all of these. And I'll show you exactly how. So let's go to our global, let's paste it. But let's give this a CSS styles folder. So for those who are unfamiliar or new to Export Kit, uh, CSS styles allows you to basically control all your class styles for your output. Uh, there's various ways that you can set it up. It doesn't matter your organization. We could have this like this. It's irrelevant. It's really just looking for the styles, so the colors, um, the, the images, any of the effects that are attached, etc. So it really doesn't matter how we lay it out. Uh, just as long as we have what we expect within the naming convention. So I'll show you how we're going to do that right away. So within our CSS styles, what we're going to do is we're going to create a theme. So this theme is going to be bakery. Now to ensure that everything uh, logistically is the same, what we have to do is we have to maintain the same convention with all of our assets. So for instance, this right here, we're going to have to have another group above it because we have one here. Now, because we have a style called bakery, we have to apply the style to the group. That's how simple it is, and we can attach multiple styles. Now, because we have child layers, we can attach child styles to that as well. So this will be the logo for bakery. This will be the title. This will be, I guess, logo background, logo BG, and this will be the main BG. So we're going to attach these styles now to our existing class. So let's do that. Let's call it design logo. This is our type. Oh. This is our title. Oh, I put logo. This is this would run as an invalid tag. So you have to make sure you use the right CSS, uh, not CSS, but the right layer tags. In this essence, we're doing a style. So style logo. This is going to be the logo background. This is the main background. So now what we've done is we've applied uh, default styles to our elements that we can apply at runtime in essence. So our main elements, just to emphasize exactly how this works, we're going to remove the image fills. So this way it will fill uh, with the content that we have in our styles. And we could even just default this text color to black. In essence, now this is a blank uh, design. And to export it correctly, what we're going to do, we're going to have to turn on CSS images because we're using images in our CSS styles. And that's it. And you'll see that now we still have our entire design, although our loading screen is simply just a blank template. So let's take this a bit further and make this a bit more powerful. So this is our loading screen. Let's call this uh, loading bakery. Let's make another one. Let's call this loading gym. Now 
Now what we have to do is we're going to have to create, although you can see we're only using the same template, we're going to have to create additional styles. So let's just increase the size of our global. Okay, let's take this entire content again. Let's copy it again. And now what we're going to do is call this gym. And we're going to simply replace the elements within. So we have our background. Let's add a new background. Let's change the logo. This one has to resize slightly just because of the shape of the logo. That's okay. And let's change the color of the text. Okay, so now what we have is the exact same style, but our theme name is Jim with new content. And let's ensure that rather than the bakery style, it's using the Jim style. So you'll see here that all we're doing is we're creating individual styles that will match that unique, uh, I guess you would say, design itself. Now, again, there are no limits as to how you can structure your CSS styles. So let's say for instance if you wanted your backgrounds together if you wanted your logos together so you can organize this in any capacity that you like uh, you can also put labels but with a label you know let's say we were to add a label right here let's call it uh, logos what you would have to do with this is you would have to apply a skip layer to either the individual layer itself or if you had a folder of labels then you could apply a skip layer to the folder and then you would be able to organize your design in any capacity that you'd like so let's go ahead and re-export let's make sure we're selecting nothing now we can check our bakery and we can check our gym uh, the image is not the exact size that it, you know what we can fix this afterwards so this right here is 156 by 106 so we have to make uh, the other one 156 by 106 and let's just move it around so it fits a little better okay now we can either keep the gray fill um, you know what let's just show we can keep the gray fill let's add one more uh, let's increase the size of global so we can add a little more content. Uh, let's call this real estate. So this one. So we need another style for real estate. All right, let's change this slightly. And we can tell that this needs to increase a bit. So that's likely the other one we'll need to 159, 128. Let's do that in the other. Let's remove this fill. So now we have the image size that will match, uh, I guess, that logo itself. And let's get the background going. Uh, this should be real estate. And there we go. So, I mean, this could have been organized way better. I'm really just illustrating that how you're organizing it is irrelevant as long as everything is within your CSS styles. You have the correct child uh, and parent nesting. Everything is fine. Ensure you have CSS images if you're using images within your CSS styles. You have to select nothing. And here we go. Here's our bakery. Here's our fitness. You can see it's corrected now with the size that we need. And here's our real estate. Now, I, I mean, the background images could have been better. The logos could have been better. But hey, what we were able to do was, in essence, use a template system, a wireframe if you wanted. I mean, we could have wireframed everything and simply use styles in any organization to create three completely different designs. Let's go a little further. Let's assume this logo BG also has a hover state. Now again, it doesn't matter where you put your stuff. Uh, let's make this hover state 
let's assume the realtor this logo has a hover state also and let's give it a stroke for good measure so these are just random hover and rollovers that we can have you can see that we can change it independently uh, just with the style itself now I mean let's go further let's assume the bakery uh, its logo BG is hidden so we're only really gonna see uh, the icon and the text now to do this we're gonna have to enable hidden layers and that's it let's re-export and test so we can see the bakery of course you can't read the text fully but I'm just illustrating that we can actually manipulate anything just with CSS styles the depot now has a hover and we only put the hover on the background we should have put it on the logo and other stuff as well uh, but again these are things you can do with child nesting and I'll cover that in another video tutorial and the real estate also has a hover where it now gets a stroke uh, that stroke doesn't seem centered I'll get the guys to fix that now as although this is basic and I'll do another video with something much more advanced I mean if you had multiple templates for home pages contact page about us page products etc you could actually do various template designs and then just squeeze in your styling with whoever your client is they, they won't know the difference it'll all look the same in the end